All right, good evening everybody. Uh, I just want to make a quick video here. I had a request in chat um, on how to set up my Tasty Trade platform uh, to mirror the same columns that I have. So uh, really quick, a quick five minute video is all we need here. Now I do not remember what the default screen looks like, I'll be honest. So uh, what you're first going to want to do is make sure that you are on your positions tab. And then over here on the far right, you have this cog. And when you click that, it's going to go ahead and open up. And it should open up on the positions tab already open because you're opening it from your positions. So once you click that, it's going to show you two areas. It's going to show you what's displayed currently and what is not displayed and that you can add in. So um, really quick, these are all that I have that are in my positions or view right now. Um, so if you want, go ahead, pause the video and you can look up these items and any of these items you can remove. Now, if it helps, some items are here that don't change and it really is just, uh, uh, let's see, it's gonna be, pretty much last and symbol. You can't change those, but IV rank all the way over to capital requirements are. So the best thing that you could probably do right now is if you just click it once, it will remove it from that column. You see how now IV rank is gone. If you go ahead and do that to all your positions that are under displayed, it'll keep you, it'll get you completely blank. Okay. Then you come over here to the not displayed and the same thing, you can just find the one you want and click on it and it's going to bring it down and then you can just sort it. So currently I have the columns IV rank going from left to right, IV rank, then pop net theta, days to expiration, <clears throat> excuse me, EXT, which is intrinsic value, can't say it right now, excuse me, mark, cost, PL day, PL with percent bar, PL change, underlying indicators, days since open, and capital requirement. Okay, now some things you don't see uh, when I am streaming my portfolio are these three because I have it minimized, but they are also there. Okay, and what that does is, you can see here, here's the IV rank. It just tells you the current IV without having to pull it up anywhere else. Okay, the pop, which is your current trade that you're in, gives you the current pop that you have. This is not the pop from entry, this is the pop now so it's dynamic it tells you when uh, as of the current um, time you're looking at it theta is your current theta whether it's positive or negative per day uh, that yours is uh, currently making again this is not what you put when you put the trade on this is where it is as of right now okay DTE will show up blank you have to open it that's your days to expiration you can see here this says 10 days so when you open up a uh, Spreads, it'll show you all your contracts here, 45 days, okay? The next is your intrinsic value, what it's currently worth right now, uh, your mark, where it's trading at, the cost, which would be what you either paid for or what you received on the trade. Red is what you paid for. Green is what you initially received. P&L day, this is where you are today from the start of the open till the close. P&L open is the overall open on your trade um, so it tells you whether you are up or down overall and then you got the PL open percent and this again tells you the current trade you are in indicators is anything that may be coming up um, earnings is a lot that you'll see the E uh, and the and how far out earnings are D is also dividends okay days open again you must have it opened up to see it you can see that I've been in Costco for one day and then the last one is the capital requirement, which is more for your margin, your spreads. You can see that the capital that's being uh, currently used up on those trades. And that's it. That is my platform. Everything else is not really customizable. Uh, so that's it. Uh, thank you and have a good evening.